Hi everyone, Jacqueline here. So I just wanted to provide an update on how my seedlings are doing because some of this stuff has been planted for a few weeks now. I just wanted to share with you uh, what kind of progress I'm seeing and what things are going well and what isn't. So I'm going to start here with what I have in the kitchen under my grow lights. You can see the grow light right there. So this here is the double flowering combine. Uh, it is called the Biderman, Bidermeyer combines. They are doing okay, but you can see a lot of cells, nothing germinated in. There's a few stragglers coming up over here, you can see, but for the most part, um, they were hit and miss, but I would say they're about a 70% germination rate. The next thing I have beside it is, I just planted these last week and this was some more coleus. So they are not up yet. That's a 72 cell pack. Over here is onions, and these are the, can read my old writing, Alyssa Craig, Alyssa Craig, Alyssa Craig onions, if I pronounced that right, and they're just starting to come up, and they look pretty good. These were, they're like 110 days before you, like, you can look at even harvesting them, so I thought I better get them started. Here is the purple millet. I think I had 10 seeds and I have 10 cups. I just transplanted these to cups. So for my transplanting methods, I am using cups for a lot of stuff. I've got small cups and bigger cups right here. So that's what I'm gonna use as much as I can. Over here is the dianthus and it's doing really well and I have thinned it. I have a patch right here that is empty for whatever reason. It could be how I scattered them potentially human error. This is a huge disappointment right here. These were my pansies. They are one here, one there. You can see very, very poor germination on them. So I am gonna go and buy a couple more packs of seeds and add them in here because I love pansies and I use them a lot. Over here, this is where I had my snapdragons and they were not good, they were like, killing over all the time. So I switched that and I put in Black Beauty eggplant here and it's just starting to come up. And then over here I have the lupins and this is a perennial lupin. This is the festive mix and they've been thinned and I have been pruning them back to help them um, be more bushy rather than leggy. Over here is the amaranth, Love Lies Bleeding. You can see here. I'll just see else you can see a little bit better. And over here is, sorry, this is, sorry, wrong. This is Joseph's coat here, which is really well. And these are a little sturdier than the amaranth over here, which isn't doing that great. I find after last year's experiment with amaranth that they do better once I get them outside. And inside they are real curly and um, they don't stand up very straight. Even out of the grow lights, they don't do that great. So, but Joseph's coat, really good stronger seedlings. So those were the items I was growing in my kitchen. Now I'm in the living room and because I have so many seedlings I've had to resort to putting a table in front of the living room window. So you can see here right here is the I don't want to say the wrong thing it's a gallardia here which means this is blanket flower right here. They're doing good. Blanket flowers took a little longer to come up. It's a bit scattered, but it could be a user issue, as in me. Over here, we have red and green bell peppers. They are doing really, really good this year compared to what happened last year. They didn't do well. So the grow lights worked really well to gen germinate them. So I'm happy with that. Right here, we have the gazania. The gazania, I guess, is a really popular annual flower. It's almost like a zinnia or a daisy. The lady at the store that worked there, the sales rep actually told me that they have a client who comes in and buys all the gazania seed up as soon as it's on the shelves. Every single year he comes in and buys it because he just loves it because it's just a really beautiful flower. So I'm going to give it a try and we'll see what it's like. Next, I have the foxglove and this is the dalmatian it's the perennial that grows and flowers the first year not the biennial and it is the peach so i'm anxious to try this out and see what it's like i need to thin it but i'll pot it all up in the cups 
This is a blanket flower. It is probably the easiest germinating flower ever that I have grown and super impressed with it. And I have lots. It's a perennial and it's hardy, like zones two and up. Great flower, easy to germinate, should be fun to plant in the garden. And finally, I have coleus and it's done really, really well. I need to transplant some more up. I've already moved some of the little ones that were in there over here to this tray, but it's doing well. So I just wanted to mention to you guys, a uh, reminder, I am running videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I will throw in the odd short on a weekend if I have something I wanna share with you or an update on a plant or a flower or something I'm doing gardening related. But that is the schedule right now. That will change once the snow goes. I'm aiming for April to start going Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Saturday. I haven't quite made my mind up on that. I do have a full-time job, so I'm trying to fit it in, but I definitely will be going five days once the snow goes. And I'll give you an update once I see the snow start clearing out. Right now, I would suspect I won't be able to start going five days until probably mid-April or late April. But if things change and I can get out there and start doing things, I definitely will. And I will let you guys know the schedule. I'm a dining room table where I don't want plants to get a lot of light. I have put my mixed lilies asiatic lilies here i've got two trays of them and i put the red hot pokers here as well in their trays and they're just sitting here so it's a good place for them because they're getting a little bit of light but not a lot because i don't want them to do much i'd rather they do all their growth out in the garden over here i have oriental poppies and the bergmont right there they did well and then I have a variety of the different lupins here, the perennial ones that I've potted up. So they're kind of stagnant right now. And then here I have tomatoes and they did really well. And this is the Indigo Bros Black here. Right here is the cherry mix. I really like mixed little tomatoes. I eat them a lot by the handful. This is a rainbow blend. And then this is the beef um this is the beef steak ones here and i put them right in front of my patio doors and they seem to like it there and that's it those are all my seedlings and what i'm growing right now i may plant some more uh, vegetable seedlings i do have some other eggplant to do and i have some onions to do and i do have chives and a couple things that i could plant i'm just debating when i want to start them because I'm getting so I have no place to put everything when you're putting it all over your house. So that's it for this video, short and sweet. That's how my seedlings and my bulbs are doing right now. Don't forget to uh, drop me a couple comments. Let me know how yours are doing, your successes and failures. Love to hear from you. And thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.